What's good, YouTube? It's your boy J12, and welcome back to the channel, man. And today we're gonna be talking about Kim Reddish, man. So it's been reported that the Lakers are interested in bringing in Kim Reddish. Um, it's not a surprise at all. Obviously, the Lakers are in desperately need of wings. So them going for Kim Reddish, obviously, it's not gonna stop at just Kim Reddish, because if the Lakers are gonna get get involved in this Jazz and you know the Knicks trade, it will be to help the Knicks get Donovan Mitchell. And the whole reason why the Lakers, you know, like will get involved in this whole trade is because Danny Ainge want four first round picks unprotected for Donovan Mitchell. We all know how Danny Ainge is. And um, the Jazz are only willing to offer two. Guess who have two more first round picks? The Lakers. So that's why the Lakers can somehow sweep in this, help the Knicks out. The Knicks are obviously going to get Donovan Mitchell. The Knicks in return going to give the Lakers Cam Reddish. And then the Jazz in return of the Lakers helping them get, you know, the fir first round picks that they wanted, they are going to take on Russell Westbrook contract. And if they take on Russell Westbrook contract, then they obviously have to let some guys go, you know, to match the salary. And Bohan name is being brought, is being, you know, mentioned as one of the guys that could potentially be traded if, you know, the Jazz were to accept Russell Westbrook contract. And if Bohan is indeed, you know, in that trade, I like it. You get him, Bohan. We all know what Bohan is capable of—a very, very good three-point shooter. He can also post up. He's a solid defender as well, so you can immediately put him in the starting five. And you get Cam Reddish, um, pretty young guy that I feel like, you know, like they not. I feel like they sort of kind of like gave up on him, you know, too easy. If that makes sense, you know, like in Atlanta, the man was shooting 37% from three last season. And they trade him to the Knicks where he was only playing 14 minutes a game. And obviously the three-point shooting percentage dropped um, big time. I think it went from 37 to like 29% or something like that. So, yeah, Cam Reddish definitely showed us that he can absolutely shoot the ball. You did not shoot 37% for like majority of the season last year, like by accident. So he's definitely capable. So if you get him, you have a solid young player to come off the bench. You have a wing that you can immediately put in the starting position and also the jazz gonna have to give up maybe two or one more player as well like i said to match the salary so in return all teams are gonna win the jazz gonna get donovan mitchell not the jazz the knicks are gonna get donovan mitchell danny Ange is gonna get the four first round unprotected picks that he wanted and the lakers are gonna get the wing players that they desperately need so in my opinion this trade have to happen i don't know what's taking so long I feel like the Jazz know if the Lakers get involved, they're going to have to take Russ contract. So I'm not sure if that's what, you know, is slowing this whole thing down. All I know is that Denny Ange said he want this deal to be done before training camp. So we'll see, man, this long behind trade process between the Jazz and the Knicks. Hopefully something get done soon. Anyways, that's the end of today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you're new. Appreciate it. I'm out.